So how did the A220, the smallest Airbus, save the day back in 2018 and especially in 2019? In this video I'll be elaborating on that and also sharing some very interesting details both about the future but also about the A220 and I will be including the link in the description. Like, subscribe and share. You may not have noticed this but the A220 actually has been steadily growing and becoming more mature since it joined Airbus and Airbus didn't include it in its numbers in its prognosis for 2018 and not even for 2019 and the interesting thing is that already in 2018 it contributed to the numbers of Airbus but in 2019 it actually even added an extra month of deliveries for the single aisle because it delivered 45 of them and Airbus has been having troubles with the A320 due to the engines they have had slowdown on the A330 because of the transition to the A330 Neo they have had the slowdown on the A380 so the A220 has actually been a very welcome addition to the family Plus, it also has helped into penetrating deeper into the US market with companies like United, but also in Canada with Air Canada and solidifying Airbus's position in the Americas. Also, already Airbus can see the benefits of having acquired it while Boeing is still in the process of acquiring Embraer it was a very good move looking back not everyone was sure that it was a smart thing not everyone was sure that it was a fair deal but in the end Bombardier is making money Airbus is making money and the deal as you may remember was Airbus taking a 50.1 or 01 percentage share in the C-series program and then in return it's, it is doing all the marketing it's doing all the selling and that is where the benefit is for uh, Bombardier because Airbus has this very strong position Airbus has this very big marketing engine Airbus has all these entries to customers where Bombardier never set foot before but Airbus did and so it's a very big win-win so I'm curious to see where this will lead and if there will be a larger variant that will actually start to compete with the current A320 Neo it will depend on the market will depend also on what Boeing will do so what we could see is that there will be the larger version which Air France indicated it was interested in to actually cover a segment of the market where now the A320 is used the A319 but the A220 would actually be more efficient it's a smaller aircraft it's more fuel efficient it's lighter and you do not need all that cargo capacity on all the routes so let's see where this will go and what kind of developments if there will be even a new version or if Airbus will skip that altogether and just come with a clean sheet design like I have been mentioning this in different videos where there will be one covering the whole NMA market but starting from the A321 and then upwards and then have from let's say the C series size upwards including not two but including the A320 and then have two aircraft that have a lot of 
systems in common so it's very easy for pilots to transition from vari one variant to the other but this this is speculation but in my opinion it is the most reasonable thing to do actually but this can only be done if there is enough advance in technology and that these new technologies are actually ready to be implemented safely so the future will tell but for now we can enjoy beautiful A220 in two variants that starts to spread around the globe I will actually include a video on uh, a delivery flight the ferry flight of an uh, A220 and it's a wonderful video it's a two hour video so it may seem long but they cut out a lot because about the whole preparation of the flight and then the whole flight from start to landing uh, which is a eight or nine hour flight and it's really beautiful uh, the pilots on board are very experienced they're both captains and they're sharing a lot of information a lot of details and they're demonstrating different things so if you're really into aviation if you're really into piloting it's it's the perfect video so i was not sure i would be watching the full two hours i believe i skipped forward once only a few minutes and then i realized yeah i mean they already compressed everything so much uh, it's really worth it so if you want to know more about the a220 that's the video to watch i mean i've showed you here in this video how it's being built and some things but they go like deeply in details on specifications capabilities systems uh, but not the boring part actually the interesting and the fun part so enjoy that I'll see you in the next video if you dislike the video you do this if you liked it thumbs up share and subscribe also check out my patreon page there you can support me and get access to exclusive content get more check it out in the link below